Going on adventures is always fun. Except when you run into twisted situations and some creepy places that'll make you want to escape right away. But then again, I guess that even the scary parts are part of what makes the adventure fun. In today's video, we'll be looking at 15 creepy places you should never visit. Number 15. Gonjiam Psychiatric Hospital. This psychiatric hospital in South Korea gained a lot of bad reputation after a ton of crazy stories came out. It was said that doctors were as mad as the patients they were taking care of and that some patients were committing murderous acts. The place closed in the 1990s, but the reason for its closure has nothing to do with these rumors. Ian said the place was closed due to legit reasons that will make anyone run away from a place like this. They say there was a sewage problem, unsanitary conditions, and a huge economical problem that kept them from giving this place the care that it needed. Still, some people believe that there are some ghosts roaming around this abandoned place. No one in their right mind is going to point you in the direction of this hospital, but some tourists still manage to find the place and break in. Number 14. Akhtan Tunichil Muknal Cave A jungle cave in a nature reserve sounds like the kind of place anyone would want to explore especially if it's within the grounds of what used to be part of the Mayan Empire. But the Actun Tunichilmoknal Cave in Belize might be a bit too much for tourists who just want to connect with nature. Inside this cave, you can find skeletons covered in calcite. It's said that they were kids who were sacrificed to the god of rain. One of the most famous skeletons is one of an 18-year-old girl who is now known as the Crystal Maiden. Visiting this cave is definitely not your typical tourist experience, but it certainly shows you what life used to be like back then. Number 13. The Catacombs in Paris You might think this place is creepy because of its nature. The famous catacombs in France are pretty much underground cemeteries on which the city of Paris was built. Today, there's a small part of the catacombs that is open to the public, but there are way more creepy things happening in this place than a lot of people aren't aware of. After all, the network of labyrinths is almost infinite, and there's no way people can be legally allowed to visit every corner of this place. In 2004, the local police found a clandestine cinema and a bar. They then came with an electrical team to find out how the cinema was being powered. The police found a note that said, Do not try and find us. This was one of many underground activities that had been discovered in the complexity of this place. Number 12. Akodesawa Market People usually go to the market to get food or any other goods that they need for their everyday life. But this market in Loam, the capital of Togo, is known for being the place where people go to get charms, fetishes, or any item that they need for their voodoo rituals. That's right, in this place you can find animal heads, human skulls, and even voodoo priests that can predict your future or prepare medicine if you're feeling sick. Yes, yeah, certainly it's not your traditional local market, but it is a shopping destination that doesn't compare to anything else in the world. Number 11. Hitler's Olympic Village if you're a German, this is probably the kind of place you don't want tourists to know about. And that's because it's linked to a leader who brought a lot of bad reputation to the country. Prior to all the craziness of World War II, Germany was able to host the 1936 Summer Olympics in the city of Berlin. Hitler built the Olympic Village and called it a village of peace. Even though he was starting to promote Nazi propaganda and discriminatory politics that wanted to ban the participation of Jewish and black people. He did not succeed at executing his plans, but it was evidently the beginning of a lot of problems that came in the years after. We all know how that story ended, and if not, go read a bit about World War II and Hitler. Pretty interesting stuff. One thing is for sure though, this place might give you the creeps as it's a symbol of a very scary era. Half of this complex is turning into a residential facility while the other part is still open for tours, but only if there isn't a pandemic going on. Number 10. Sedlec Ossuary a lot of places mentioned today are known for being full of skeletons, and this church in the Czech Republic is not the exception. This place is known as the Bone Church, and it has a very particular type of art that many of us will find creepy. There are bone chalices, bone chandeliers, and skull candle holders among tens of thousands of other skeletons in this unique space. The history of this place starts in the 13th century when someone brought a handful of soil from the grave of the Lord in Jerusalem all the way to this spot. Everyone around wanted to be buried in the place where the soil had been thrown in at some point, but there wasn't enough space for everyone to rest in peace. For that reason, they called a woodcarver to arrange the thousands of bones that had accumulated throughout the years. He bleached the bones to give them a uniform look and came up with all the structures you see here today. Number 9. St. George's Church If you want to make a place look creepy, just bury the dead inside of the location. 
St. George's Church in Serbia is not only a church, but also a mausoleum. The place is filled with art and colors, but also with the corpses of the Karadortevek dynasty. In the upper part, you can find the tombs of the founding members of the dynasty, and that includes Prince Alexander and King Alexander I. But if you go down to the crypt, you can find 39 more tombs. But that's not everything there is to see around this place. If you visit, you can also check out King Alexander's house and the royal vineyards. For once, not everything in your visit needs to be creepy. Number 8. Rajneeshi's Old Ranch In the 1980s, a cultish community started developing in Oregon. At the end of the decade, the community collapsed due to legal problems, murder plots, and other issues that kept them from growing. Today, what remains of this community is a lot of empty spaces and creepy buildings that no one is taken care of. Number 7. Loang Sawu This colonial building in Semarang, Indonesia dates back to colonial times in which the Dutch had taken over. While the building looks awesome, it's considered as the most haunted place in Indonesia. It was featured on a local TV show in which the crew documented an apparition on camera. And a few days after that, a lot of rumors online were saying that one of the participants of the show had died in a mysterious way. Underneath this building, you can find a lot of passageways that connect the building to the governor's house and the arbors of the city. It's said that the ghost of a girl can be seen from time to time. Number 6. The Cecil Hotel This hotel in downtown LA started off as a very prestigious destination. If you stayed here, it was because you were a successful business person. But all that changed during the Great Depression, when the regulars had to look for hotel rooms in a different location and the Cecil Hotel started to receive all sorts of interesting characters. Over the next couple of years, the hotel was a scenario of multiple brutal events. At least three guests jumped to their deaths from their rooms and one other guest was murdered during her stay. A lot of insane events happened all the way until the mid-80s. It did get out of the limelight for a bit up until 2013 when guests started complaining about bad smells and low water pressure. Eventually, a maintenance work found a dead woman in the water tanks on the rooftop. Today, the hotel has been turned into an apartment complex that's easy to find within the popular LA skyline. However, I doubt many people would be interested in getting an apartment in this building after hearing about all the crazy events that happened in this place. Number 5. The Stanley Hotel If you're enjoying this video, you'll probably enjoy horror. And if you enjoy horror, then you'll probably enjoy Stephen King's works. One of the most popular books that he's written is The Shining, which was made into a film. And also another film, which wasn't that good. It's said that the room 217 in this hotel in Estes Park, Colorado is where Stephen King stayed where he was writing his famous novel. But that's not everything that makes this place creepy. Many guests claim to have experienced paranormal activity while visiting the hotel. This includes seeing the ghost of Freelano Stanley, the person who built this hotel in 1909. Number 4. Orpheum Theater There are quite a few Orpheum Theaters around the US, but the one I'm referring to is the one in Kansas. This place gained a lot of attention when some paranormal investigators were trying to determine if the orbs they saw on some digital photos were ghosts or not. That sounds a bit too much, but during their investigation they were able to record some unexpected sounds, including the voice of a woman that said the word, Peace. Well, at least it doesn't sound as bad as other ghosts I've heard about. Number 3. Hanging Coffins of Sagada In this part of the Philippines, the elders make their own coffins when they're close to reaching the end of their lifetimes. And if they can't make their own coffins, then their family helps out. Once they pass, they are placed inside a cave or on the face of a cliff. It's a tradition that's been practiced for over 2,000 years, so a lot of the coffins you find here are very old. But a lot of them, when they're too old, just fall off and go back to nature. People started doing this because they believe that the higher their bodies are placed, the better their afterlife will be. Now it's time for the day's best pick. What could be so creepy about an island? Well, a lot of things, actually. But the island I'm about to show you will probably give you nightmares with number two. Island of the Dolls. This island is full of old dolls hanging from trees. But the origin of this place is even creepier than the sight of this nightmarish landscape. Don Julian Santana moved to the island in the canals in Mexico. It said that a girl drowned near this place and apparently Don Julian had visions of the girl. The visions were so vivid that he started honoring the girl's memory by hanging all of these creepy dolls around the place. 
Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Aokigahara Forest. This place in Japan is considered by many as the creepiest place in the world. It's beautiful, but it's known to be the place where people have come to end their lives. A lot of people believe that the lost lives have now blended with the trees and generate a lot of paranormal activity that keeps visitors from escaping this place. So, whatever you do, don't visit this forest or any of the other places I mentioned. Now, who am I kidding? A lot of you are probably going to visit these places anyway because you love creepy stuff. Just don't go around saying I didn't warn you. Which one of these creepy places would you like to visit someday? Or have you been to any of them already? Let us know down in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.